Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to my channel, Richard Ali, with a brand new content. We'll either be reviewing or unboxing, but today we're going to be unboxing the Bond 50 um, Blu ray collection. I got this for a very good price from uh, eBay. So, as usual, I always unlock, uh, unbox my Bond stuff with all of you guys. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay. I don't know, some are telling me that this might be a bootlegged version. I'm not sure. So it says uh, complete collection, 23 Bond films, including Skyfall. But I think this previous owner must have kept it for a very long time. I don't know, maybe in a heaty place or something. By the way, I got this from a carousel. Okay. Oh, plastic, let me just remove that. Okay, go so up with all the plastics and the blade aside. Okay, there are a few editions out there where the um, where the Blu-ray um, slip here is gray, but mine is blue. So I'm just going to show you guys around. That's how it looks like. Okay, this is uh, Board of Film Census Singapore. There's a few tags over there. I think all these names. I'll take my time to remove all of this. Um, just let me remove the case. Okay, it goes off. There's like a cover, it goes off. And these are all the movies in here. And I'm not sure if you guys can see it. So all the Bond movies that are included and this is the back cover of it. Very nice. That side. Okay, here's the uh, box itself. We have, at the back part, we have the 50th uh, 50th uh, anniversary logo celebrating 50 years of James Bond. And at the side, we have all the trademarks, the Dolby, DTS, you name it. This, this are copy protected. Oh, okay. So it's like a slip. So the side, it says here, celebrating five decades of James Bond. Not sure if you guys can see it. All right. It's like a slip case. It comes out. Wow. Wow, just nice. Here we go. This is uh, from 1983 to 2012. 1962, 1981. So I'm going to start with the 1962 one first. A good glimpse of it. See? Wow. Beautiful. And this the disc. Let me just try to take one out. See how it looks like. Oh, oh. Okay. Doctor No. Back part. So I think it is all represented with um, um, all the uh, Bond girls for each of the movie. So this one is. Uh, Portrayed by Ursula Andres. We have Daniela Bianchi for Russia with Love. And we have Sean Connery. All the scenes from Dr. No, the first Bond movie. Very nice. And then we have Goldfinger. Sean Connery, Ari Goldfinger, all from the scenes. Uh, Anna Blackman, she just passed away at the age of 94. What a sad news for Bond fans. And then we have the actress from uh, Thunderball. I couldn't recall her name, sorry. The disc. George Lazenby from her on Her Majesty's Secret Service. All the scenes. Very, I, I, I like the way they have put in the image for those, for the movies. Uh, this is from You Only Live Twice on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Roger Moore, my favorite Bond of all. We have Baron Samedi, we have Blofeld. All the scenes. This is from, uh, um, I think, uh, Diamonds Are Forever, 1971 by Sean Connery. Live and Let Die. Uh, Roger Moore, once again, my favorite Bond. Uh, these are from uh, 
these are scenes from the spy who loved me and uh, the man with the golden gun by the way i do have the uh, signed edition of the golden gun you can do check check it out at the video description link below for the unboxing that mine is number 13 so it was a really brilliant piece to have i was really happy all right the man with the golden gun and the spy who loved me the spy who loved me is my favorite movie guys i love it again roger moore i think they go by era i think so these are from the moonraker and for your eyes only scenes so we have moonraker here and for and for your eyes only and that's it that's the end for book for the book one wonderful brilliant put this aside and this is the next one 1983 to 2012 Roger Moore again. Nice, 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 nice. As a matter of fact, I'm loving this set more because I get to see more of Roger Moore, my favorite Bond. So this is Octopussy, A View to a Kill, which I believe it was his last movie. I think next should be Timothy Dalton. This is for The, um, the Living Daylights, License to Kill. Very nice. I like the way they have put the year together. I've been waiting for this set for a long time. I finally got it. I love it, guys. Oh, Pierce Brosnan. Stylish looking, definitely. We have Golden Eye. We have Tomorrow Never Dies. Play, uh, this is Michelle Yeoh. She's from Malaysia, by the way. Malaysian actress. And she comes from my hometown as well, which is Ipoh. To those of you who are familiar with the places in Malaysia, you know where Ipoh is. Pierce Brosnan again from Die Another Day and... The world is not enough, all right? So we have the world is not enough here. And we have die another day, Halle Berry. Ah, uh, here comes the current James Bond. Daniel Craig. Again, scenes from the movie. We have Casino Royale, we have Quantum of Solace. Wow. And this is Skyfall. Wow, this is really nice, guys. Um, these are all the James Bond. I wish I wish they had a soft copy of this. Maybe I could download it, make it a turn into a wallpaper or something. It's, it's really nice the way they, the way the design they, they have done it. And I like the a bit of a brownish tone that they have put to the images. So this is uh, Skyfall and this is the bonus disc. So what does the bonus disc contain? Let's see. World of Bond, title sequences, gadgets, villains, Bond girls, Bond in motion. Bing Bond, right? So all this uh, new bonus discs, this is included inside here. I'm sure I will love them. Let's see what's the rest. All right, it's black. Wow, really nice. So overall, I love this piece. It is definitely a piece that a collector should have. Okay, there are some people who told me the color is a bit off and all this sort of thing. Really, guys, I don't know how long the, the 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 previous owner who had this sealed i don't know how long they kept it and how they kept it but i could see the mark over here i think the tag over the mark is over here but i don't know how to solve it guys i think i think the the mark of the um, the cover the slip cover that is over here i think is also have uh, have eaten have somehow even the color, if you guys can see. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on camera. You see there's two different tones here. I think this is the original tone, which is covered. I think they are right. Oh, my God. What a waste. I don't know how to do it. I wish I can find someone who just has the cover for this, which I can just replace and put it in. But I guess finding that is really, really... Uh, Really, uh, I have to be lucky to find those, just to find an empty case for me to fit it back in. But I think that person is right. It is. The color is a bit off because I think the previous owner, how they set it up was, uh, they must have put it in a very heaty place where the sunlight just goes through and burns through it. But I guess I can live with that. But the price I got it for was for really cheap. Once again, we have the 1962 to 2012, all these movies. Um, all right, it was pretty expensive on uh, eBay, which I saw some people were selling it for like uh, 
uh, from 150 US dollars to 250 US dollars where else this I got it for like um, 90 US dollars 90 including shipping I paid about I think 100 US dollars which was from Singapore and I'm from Malaysia so the shipping was dirt cheap uh, that is why if you look at the box outside you will see that um, it was bought a film sensor Singapore which means this movie ha they had to screen it first prior to re releasing it I'm not sure about the um, how Singapore uh, evaluates all the all the movies but nevertheless it is always beautiful I really love it and if you guys do have any questions please post them in the comment sections below and if you guys have, have liked this video please smash the like button and do subscribe for more content from me and I will see you guys in my next video peace